Today's topic is hematoma. A hematoma is an area of blood that collects outside blood vessels as a result of damage to one of the larger blood vessels in the body. Hematoma can occur in any of the blood vessels, including the veins, arteries, and capillaries. Hematoma is a very common problem experienced by many people at some point in their lives. Many hematomas are usually harmless, although some can indicate a more serious medical problem. There are different types of hematoma, depending on their location of the body. The location may also help determine how potentially dangerous it is. They include ear hematoma, appears between the cartilage of the ear and the overlying skin. It is a common injury in boxers, wrestlers, and other athletes who regularly sustain blows to the head. Hepatic hematoma appears in the liver. Intracranial epidural hematoma appears between the skull and the outside lining of the brain. Retroperitoneal hematoma appears inside the abdominal cavity but not within any organs. Scalp hematoma appears as a bump on the head. This type does not affect the brain because the damage is to the external skin and muscle. Spinal hematoma appears between the spinal vertebrae and the lining of the spinal cord. Splenic hematoma appears in the spleen. Subcutaneous hematoma appears just under the skin, typically in the shallow veins close to the surface of the skin. Subdural hematoma appears between the brain tissue and the internal lining of the brain. Subungual hematoma appears under the nail, fingernail, or toenail. It is common in minor injuries, such as accidentally hitting the finger with a hard object. Causes The most common causes of hematoma are injuries and trauma to the wall of the blood vessels. People can get hematoma from a minimal injury, such as stubbing a toe or slightly stroking the nail against an object. More significant traumas, such as falling from a height, getting into a motor vehicle accident, can cause severe bleeding under the skin or even inside the body. Some surgical procedures, including cosmetics, dental, or medical operations may lead to a hematoma. These procedures damage nearby tissues and blood vessels. Hematoma may often form around the site of the procedure. In some cases, a hematoma may happen spontaneously without any identifiable cause. Certain blood thinner medications can increase the risk of a hematoma. Individuals who take medications such as aspirin, warfarin, or dipyridamol may develop a hematoma much easier than others. Other risk factors include excessive alcohol use, blood cancers, bleeding disorders, chronic liver disease, or low platelet count. Symptoms. For more superficial, symptoms may include redness, discoloration, pain, inflammation and swelling, tenderness in the area, warmth in the skin surrounding the hematoma. Hematoma in the skull may be dangerous. Associated symptoms may include a severe worsening headache, sleepiness, drowsiness, uneven pupils, difficulty moving an arm or leg, hearing loss, difficulty swallowing, loss of consciousness. Anyone who has been in an accident or sustained a serious injury should regularly check in with a doctor to screen for hematoma. Diagnosis and Treatment To make a diagnosis, the doctor will review your medical history and carry out a physical inspection. Depending on the situation, tests such as liver tests and complete blood count, or CBC, may be useful in evaluating a person with a hematoma and rule out any underlying condition that may be responsible. To diagnose hematomas inside the body, imaging studies such as CT scan of the head, the abdomen, and MRI may be ordered. Treatment. In some cases, treatment may not be required. With time, the blood from the hematoma is reabsorbed by the body. Sometimes, resting the injured area and applying an ice pack wrapped in a towel may help in reducing pain and swelling. To keep the blood vessels from reopening as it heals, it may help to wrap or splint the area around the hematoma. If the injury is very painful, over-the-counter or prescription pain relievers may be recommended. In some cases, surgical drainage of the hematoma may be required. This may be done if the blood is putting pressure on the spinal cord, brain, or other organs, or if the hematoma is at risk of infection. 
Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.